Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1725, 10 sleeping Indians are scalped in New Hampshire because there is a bounty on Indian scalps. In 1768, the first American chartered fire insurance company opens in Pennsylvania. In 1792, the Postal Service Act, establishing the United States Post Office Department, is signed by President George Washington. Yes, but did they make money? In 1809, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that the power of the federal government is greater than that of any state. In 1811, the country of Austria declares bankruptcy. In 1816, Rossini's opera Barbara of Seville premieres in Rome. In 1835, Concepcion, Chile, is destroyed by an earthquake. 5,000 people die. In 1839, the U.S. Congress prohibits dueling in the District of Columbia. Yes, I said dueling, but I guess it is okay everywhere else. In 1841, Hong Kong Island is occupied by the United Kingdom. In 1865, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology forms the first U.S. Collegiate Architectural School. In 1869, Tennessee Governor W.C. Brownlow declares martial law during a Ku Klux Klan crisis. In 1872, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City opened to the public beginning today. Also in 1872, Silas Noble and J.P. Cooley patent a toothpick manufacturing machine. In 1873, the University of California opens its first medical school in San Francisco, California. In 1877, one of the world's best-known ballets, Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, premieres today in Moscow. Also in 1877, the world's first professional sports league, the International Association for Professional Baseball Players, is founded in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1887, the United States Senate allows the United States Navy to lease Pearl Harbor as a naval base. In 1895, the U.S. Congress authorizes a U.S. Mint to make coins in Denver, Colorado. In 1902, Ansel Adams, the most important landscape photographer of the 20th century, was born in San Francisco. In 1913, construction begins on Canberra, the capital of Australia, which did not exist until now. In 1919, the NHL club Toronto Arenas are permitted to cease operations due to financial difficulties. In 1920, the American Civil Liberties Union is founded. In 1924, future Baseball Hall of Fame pitcher Christy Mathewson becomes president and owner of the Boston Braves. In 1927, actor Sidney Poitier is born today. In 1929, in old Arizona, the first full-length talking motion picture filmed outdoors is released. Also in 1929, the U.S. Congress formally accepted the deeds of cession from Eastern Samoa, thereby forming American Samoa. One more in 1929, the Boston Red Sox announce they will begin to play Sunday games at Braves Field because Fenway Park is located too close to a church. In 1931, the United States Congress approves the construction of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge in the state of California. In 1933, Adolf Hitler secretly begins meeting with German businessmen to arrange for financing of the Nazi Party's upcoming election campaign. Also in 1933, the Congress of the United States proposes the 21st Amendment to the United States Constitution that will end prohibition. In 1935, Caroline Nicholson becomes the first woman to set foot in Antarctica. In 1936, Edward VIII becomes king of the United Kingdom. In 1937, the first automobile-airplane combination is tested in Santa Monica, California. Well, it's now 2022 and I don't own one, so I guess the test didn't go well. In 1940, Larry Clinton and his orchestra record Limehouse Blues. In 1941, the first group of Jews sent to concentration camps leaves Plotsk, Poland. Also in 1941, Nazi Germany orders that Polish Jews are barred from using public transportation. In 1942, at the Wannsee Conference held in Berlin, senior Nazi Germany officials discussed the implementation of the final solution to the Jewish question. Also in 1942, Lieutenant E.H. O'Hare 
single-handedly shoots down five Japanese bombers to become America's first World War II flying ace. In 1943, a volcano in Mexico begins erupting, eventually burying two villages. Also in 1943, American movie studio executives agree to allow the Office of War Information to censor movies. And in 1943 as well, Phil Wrigley and B. Ricky charter the All-American Girls Softball League. In 1944, U.S. bombers attack German aircraft factories in a bombing campaign that became known as the Big Week. Also in 1944, the Batman and Robin comic strip premieres in newspapers. In 1945, Nazi Germany begins the evacuation of 1.8 million people from East Prussia, which will take nearly two months. In 1947, a chemical mixing error causes an explosion that destroys 42 blocks in Los Angeles, California. In 1950, Dylan Thomas arrives in New York City for his first U.S. poetry reading tour. In 1952, Emmett Ashford becomes the first African-American umpire in organized baseball. Also in 1952, the film African Queen, directed by John Huston, starring Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn, is released. In 1953, August A. Bush buys the St. Louis Cardinals for $3.75 million, or nearly $40 million in 2022 money. Also in 1953, and also about baseball, the U.S. Court of Appeals rules that organized baseball is a sport and not a business, supporting the 25-year-old Supreme Court ruling. In 1954, the National Negro Network is established with 40 charter member radio stations. In 1958, the L.A. Dodgers begin using the L.A. Coliseum for baseball games while Dodger Stadium is being built. In 1959, in Seattle, Washington, a 16-year-old Jimi Hendrix plays his first gig with his first band. He is fired from the band after the first set due to wild playing. In 1962, the first time an astronaut from the U.S. orbits the Earth, John Glenn's five-hour space flight occurs today. In 1965, the Beatles record That Means A Lot, but were unhappy with the results, so it was not released until 1996 on Anthology 2. It's 1967, and American singer-songwriter Kurt Cobain is born today. In 1971, the National Emergency Center erroneously orders U.S. radio and TV stations to go off the air. The mistake wasn't resolved for 30 minutes. In 1977, My Fair Lady closes at the St. James Theater in New York City after 384 performances. In 1979, a group of 11 people known as the Shankill Butchers are sentenced to life in prison for 19 murders. They would kidnap, torture, and slash the throats of random Catholic civilians in Belfast, Ireland. In 1981, 20 minutes after Ronald Reagan is inaugurated as U.S. President, Iran releases the 52 American hostages they had been keeping captive. In 1986, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is celebrated as a federal holiday for the first time. In 1987, Church of England envoy Terry Waite is kidnapped in Lebanon. Also in 1987, in Salt Lake City, a bomb explodes in a computer store. It is later attributed to the Unabomber. And in 1987 as well, David Hartman quits ABC's Good Morning America after 11 years. In 1988, singer-songwriter Rihanna is born today. Also in 1988, 500 people die in heavy rains in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In 1989, today members of the 1949 Oklahoma football team cancel an April reunion because of the deplorable conduct of then-current Oklahoma players. In 1992, Air Interflight 148, an Airbus A320, crashes into a mountain near Strasbourg, France, killing 87 of the 96 people on board. In 1993, Ferriccio Lamborghini dies today. I bet you can guess what company he created. In 1994, three Afghans take 70 Pakistani children hostage. In 1998, American figure skater Tara Lipinski becomes the youngest Winter Olympics gold medalist ever at the Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. In 1999, the China News Service announces new government restrictions on internet use aimed specifically at internet cafes. In 2003, 
During a concert by the rock band Great White in West Warwick, Rhode Island, a pyrotechnics display sets the club on fire, killing 100 and injuring over 200 others. In 2005, journalist and author Hunter S. Thompson passes away today. In 2006, witnesses report seeing a bottlenose whale swimming in the River Thames. This is the first time the species had been seen in the river since records began in 1913. In 2010, on Madeira Island in Portugal, heavy rain causes floods and mudslides, resulting in the worst disaster in the history of the archipelago. In 2012, scientists successfully regenerate the extinct flowering plant, Selene stenophylla, from a 31,800-year-old piece of fruit. In 2013, Estonia becomes the first country to establish a national system of fast chargers for electric cars. In 2015, Kristen Stewart is the first American actress to win a French César Award as Best Supporting Actress. In 2016, a four-inch lock of John Lennon's hair sells for $35,000 at an auction in Dallas, Texas. Also in 2016, Tropical Cyclone Winston hits Fiji. It is the most powerful storm on record in the Southern Hemisphere, with winds of 296 kilometers per hour, or 184 miles per hour. In 2017, famine is declared in Unity State, South Sudan, affecting 4.9 million people. And lastly, in 2021, seven people test positive for the H5N8 bird flu at a poultry farm in southern Russia, becoming the first known human cases. I hope you're enjoying my videos. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.